This video is specific for new mod players. In no way, shape or form do I expect advanced man players to be interested in this video. So if you already have a few years of mod experience under your belt or you already know how to play Man Ultimate Team 20, be sure to skip this one. It's not gonna be interesting for you. If you just got the game for Christmas, this is the perfect video for you because in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with your Madden Ultimate Team and how to get as, as many coins as you want and how to get the players you want and how to get started with Madden Ultimate Team in general. This video is only going to talk about solar challenges because solar challenges are one of the biggest, uh, it's one of the biggest things in Madden Ultimate Team. You can get free coins, free players and don't have to spend money on the game so it's very important to know how to do these. Now this is probably going to be the screen you see once you have logged into Man Ultimate Team. I'm just going to skip this really quick. Okay, so, so the first thing I would recommend you to do once you're on this screen is press R1 three times to go to the team and then press X to get into the team menu. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the best lineup possible for me. So that's triangle, best team overall, so press X. And this is going to generate the best overall that you possibly, possibly can have at this spot. Okay, now I'm going to press circle to get back. And I'm going to go uh, press L1 twice to get two challenges. Now I'm going to press this right here. And now you're probably going to see this screen right here. Now I'm going to talk about which ones that are the most important to you. First of all, a bit more general. These are solo challenge sequences. So if I press X, this is like a subcategory of some solo challenges. Th then if I press X, then I'm on this screen and I, I see what I can do. Now I can press X again. And then I'm going to enter this uh, solo challenge. And I'm just going to be like, okay, play solo. So now I'm just going to get into the game real quick. And then we'll see where we go from here. Alright, once you have loaded into the solo challenge, this is probably going to be the screen that you will see. The, requ the requirements to, to win this solo, challenges, solo challenge is... Gain 5 yards. Okay, I'm going to press X to continue. And then I'm going to select a passing play because passing plays are way better than running plays to get yards. I'm going to go right here. Let's see what you... Okay, I'm just going to select the play and just throw the ball to get 5 yards. So I'm going to read it out. Yeah. Here we have... Oh, he's not going down. That's great. Okay, well, I'll just get a touchdown then. Okay, so I definitely gained five yards there. So I won the solo challenge, and then I'm going to be on this screen. One new thing that they have implemented this year is that I can go straight to the next solo challenge by pressing the play next challenge button. I can also go to ret uh, return to challenges, which is going to return me to the menu that I was last on, on last rather can replay the challenge so do that again what I just did and yeah I'm going to hit the play next solo challenge and I'm going to select this and I'm going to play the next one which says that I have to score a touchdown so I'm going to do that really quickly and then I'll see you back on the main menu Alright, so after completing these two solo challenges, I now get my rewards as I'm back on the main screen, on the main ultimate team screen. Uh, for the first solo challenge, I'm getting 100 coins. Plus, I've just achieved a milestone. I'll talk about that uh, in a second. I get some experience points. I also completed an objective, apparently. Yeah, there you go. And I also completed the second solo challenge, so I'm going to reach another milestone. Now, what are, mi are milestones? Yes, I'm getting a quick sell pack right here. This just contains a quick sell, which I can quick sell for coins, just 1k. Nice. But, now, okay, some more rewards. Maybe I can get into what I want to say now. Um, yeah, okay. So, 
Let's go to the milestones tab right here. You see that I have for tier 3 milestone, I have 2 out of 4 stars. Now how do I get stars? This is a new thing that they've implemented last, or this year rather, is that I can select uh, the difficulty for at which I want to play the solo challenge at, and dependent on the difficulty that I choose, this is the number of stars that I get. Now probably this is not the best example to show you, but maybe right here on Team of the Week, I can go into this solo challenge and I can select 1 star easy, 2 stars medium, and 3 stars hard, so very difficult one, uh, difficult to complete. This just raises the difficulty of the game mode and or the opponent. So, obviously the easier ones are going to be labeled easy, and, but they also give one coins, uh, one, one coins, one star. So, what I would personally recommend you to do is I would recommend you to always go on the highest difficulty because it's not as difficult as it seems. So, just know that it's more rewarding that way and it's not that much harder. That's what she said. Okay, now since we've got that out of the way, we also want to see what these stars actually do. So rather than having to get to a cert to complete a certain uh, how do you say a certain solo challenge to get a reward, you need a certain amount of stars to, for example, get a player. I would need two more stars to get Todd Gurley. I would need four more stars to get Greg Olson. Eight more stars to get an ultimate trainer's token, and so on and so forth. So these are the major changes that they've made to the system. Alright, so I'm actually editing this video right now and I noticed that I went far too long on the part in which I explained which solo sequences you should do in which order. So I'm going to do this now a bit shorter if you want to see a more depth, more in-depth breakdown on what these solos actually uh, get you. I'm going to leave a poll right up here, so please do vote if you are interested in more of a detailed breakdown. But the ones I would do in this order are assembly your team, they're pretty easy and it's a nice way to get started. NFL Epics, they reward 286 overall net players, an 86 QB and an 86 overall left end. I would do the NFL 100 ones for every four solo challenges you get a free 85, 84 overall rather. Great way to get started on your team. And then I would do the Men Club Championship ones. 20 full game solos, but they were an 89 to 91 overall. Raiders Legend with a power up too, so great, great card in my opinion. But yeah, some of the ones that I would do, but not to start because they're more, probably a bit more difficult for you, are the um, are the Mud Superstar ones. Also the Gauntlet ones, Gauntlet 1 and 2 are very good. If you want to see a video on which ones I would choose if I completed them, please definitely let me know. There are some other YouTubers that have done videos on this, but I could probably give my two cents in there. Maybe this is going to be helpful for you, who knows. Just let me know that in comment section once again. Assemble your team, NFL Epics, NFL 100, Man Cup Championship, and then just the Gauntlet ones and Mud Superstars. Alright, so now let's... Let's get back to the actual main part of the video. I'm going to show you some gameplay tips how to beat the hardest solo challenges there are to beat. Okay, so now that we've talked about which ones to do uh, first, I'm going to now talk about uh, tell, you, tell you how to get through them the best in the best way possible. We're firstly going to go to our mud lineup and yeah, look at that. The first thing that we want to make sure is that we have our fastest wide receiver in the number one spot. How do we check if he's the fastest player? We just switch on to him with the left stick, press square, and then go to compare. Compare, yeah, there you go. 82 speed, he's the fastest of our wide receivers. I, I guess, probably, he is. So he's going to be our number one wide receiver. Very important, and we also want to make sure that we have a very fast do we need them? No, we don't actually need a halfback. Never mind that. So I would recommend you to get as fast of a wide receiver as possible. If you can afford it, probably a John Ross would be good here. But just make sure your fastest receiver is in this position. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to the store. And you need to go over to training currency. Though that's R1 four times. Go all the way over here. And select 
alternate offensive playbooks fantasy pack. I want to buy this, but I can't because I don't have enough training points. So how do we get some more training points? We back, we go back out of the store, go to our item binder and just find some players to quick sell. You know what? Never mind. I'm not playing on playing on this account anyway, so I'm going to quick sell. I can't even quick sell him for training. God damn it! All right, that's 50 training right there. And that's 183 training right there. So, now we're going to go back to the store and buy ourselves a nice little playbook. Training currency right here. Excuse me, all the way over. And buy this pack, alternate offensive playbook, fantasy pack. Then we want to choose the run and gun offense. Why is uh, the reason for that is I'm... Uh, I'm going to show you the reason for that in a second. So, we want the run and gun right here. You can read alternate offense, run and gun. So, yeah, please select that. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to jump to practice mode to show you why you want to equip this playbook. Alright, so first off, I'm going to show you how to get pretty much a free guaranteed a uh, rushing touchdown every time you run this play so you want to go to wildcat flip the right stick to the right twice to get wide receiver at QB once again remember you want your fastest wide receiver at the wide receiver number one position even if it's not your best overall wide receiver and then you just want to snap the ball and follow your blocks pretty much so yeah get out of my way there and just then get around this dude and it's pretty much a guaranteed touch that I'm going to do that again to show that it was not fluke halfback power or oh, yeah power we're going to select the play power and then just going to wait for our blocks to set up right there so pretty simple this is the running play that you want to run every time rather any time you have to convert by running the ball the passing play that I want to show you is out of the trips tight end formation and it's called halfback swing if you're on this screen flip the left stick up twice to go to halfback swing and all I want to do is I want to streak hold and block r1 so streak triangle block r1 that's the whole setup to beat cover 3 and cover 2 just the same okay right here it didn't work also on, our, on arcade solo challenges, you, you can just aggressive catch them. All right, I, right here it's against a cover three, and it's a wide open touchdown. So you see, this absolutely burns cover three. And now I just need them to run cover two for me one time. Probably one of the most common questions beginning Madden players are going to have. Or are going to ask under this video is how to get an interception in the solo challenges because it can be really really tedious the CPU just might not throw it in your direction for a whole game and you will not have the chance to get a an interception so basically you want to what you want to do is you want to force the CPU to throw it to you which this me method does and you want to pretty much just hope your guy intercepts it so you want to go into special teams field goal block right and then you want to s press a, s a square and flip to punt safe man and just be just before they set uh, you want to okay I did a little bit too late there okay so th that's cool that's cool that's gonna happen I was a little bit wrong on the timing so I'm going to do that again so probably right here is where I should uh, do it then you just switch to punt safe man and they're going to throw it directly at you as you just saw right there I'm going to do this one more time and yeah you see I can get like, basically get an interception at any time I want I just have to be right on the timing I, I would do it right here just before they set it takes a little bit longer to get over there but that's fine He's going to throw it up and we're going to intercept it. 
So that's the whole magic for how to get an reception. Now fumbles, fumbles are really difficult to get. Most of the time when you need a fumble, it's on arcade mode. So you have to, all you have to do is just hit stick them enough times. And they will will eventually cough the ball up. Now getting fumbles in men 20 solo challenges is pretty difficult. Unless you're on arcade. If you're on arcade, you just want them to throw the ball uh, to complete the pass or to run the ball and you then you just hit stick them uh, after they catch it. Okay, so it completes it there. I didn't get the hit stick off, which is basically just flick the right stick up once you're like in the vicinity and you can tackle them. And this is basically like a guaranteed fumble in arcade mode. I'm going, I want them to complete the pass. Yeah, there you go. Then I'm just going to run up with him on him and come on, let me tag hit stick him. Okay, so I'm going to try that again. Just make sure you get a good hitter. A good hitter in arcade mode is pretty much a guaranteed fumble anytime you get a hit stick. Right there, checks down, and there you go. There, I got the fumble. Pretty easy. It's going to be very tough for you to get it if it's not on arcade mode then you just basically need to land 20 hit sticks and hope one of them causes a fumble but not arcade mode is pretty simple just flick the right stick up make a hit stick tackle and he's likely going to fumble the ball now these are all the things that you should know about men 20 solo challenges some of them are pretty self-explanatory something some things are different to previous years so just keep that in mind that Madden there's always some little changes and you need to be aware of them. I hope fully did a nice job explaining what to do uh, when playing solo challenges in this video. If if I did so. This took me quite some time. It's also a pretty long video. I didn't intend on it being so long. I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button. If you stayed until the end of the video. You're probably going to be interested in some of my content that I'm going to do over the last. Over the next rather. Over the next few days. So stay tuned for that, some gameplays coming, some tips coming. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out of here. Peace out.